Hey everyone, Dylan here. Hopefully everything looks okay. This is kind of a new setup. Also, I got a haircut for something else that is new. Um, everything's arranged a little differently because we got some furniture. Um, and I, my air is on. I hope uh, that doesn't come through too bad. And also, uh, they decided to let fireworks off right now. So that might be a thing too. Uh, just when I decided to record, you know. But um gonna try to stay in front of the camera as usual but um anyways sorry about that but today's video is going to be a review and today's review is um the uh i'm gonna try to show them off here um hopefully i'm doing it the um sound core life q30 noise canceling headphones so i'm just gonna showing them off if i can you know, I'm blind, so it's a little difficult, but, uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about these. Now, to talk about these headphones and to review them, I'm just going to say, if you want an answer really quick on this, get them. Um, like, I got them for $60 on sale with a coupon for, like, 20 bucks off, but they're normally, like, 80 79.99. Get them even 79.99. I think they're worth it. Definitely get a deal if you can, but these are great. They are amazing. Um... Now to get into my comparisons of it, which I will do in a moment. There are two other headphones I have used that are like wireless Bluetooth headphones that are noise canceling too. One was like the brand Tautronics, um, but I don't, um, I don't really, um, I don't really know what the actual model was, but. What ended up happening with those, those, they were fine. I think they were like 60 bucks. Um, the middle play button, that also doubles as the, like you have to hold it down and to turn on and off your headphones. Um, it stopped working, so I could no longer turn the headphones on and then they were useless to me <laughs> as uh, far as Bluetooth headphones were. And then I got um, the Tribit or Tribit um, Quiet or 72 Quiet Plus headphones i think that's what the model was and they were okay but the problem with them was for one they were too big and also um the noise canceling on them was good but um to get the best sound out of them you had to have noise canceling turned on all the time for the sound to be closer to your ears and that's what you were going to always use but because of that my battery life was like less than 15 hours it died all the time and like the battery life just sucked also um i have a little bit of a thing about um about uh headphones that uh have a switch for noise canceling like it's a double-edged sword because if you leave like if like you can switch it on and even though your bluetooth headphones are not actually on you can have your your sound uh noise canceling on and the good thing is that you can use them without it being turned on completely if you want to use it in an environment. The bad side is, um, if you forget to switch it off, your battery will die, especially with the Tribit headphones. So, those are just my comparisons with other headphones I've had, and those were like $70, the Tribit ones, so going up in price each time, as you see. Um, but anyways, the Soundcore Life Q30 headphones are amazing. I love them. Um, here's some things about it. Um, I'll just start with the build quality. As far as the plastic, it is a little bit of cheap plastic. It could be built better for $80. I mean, it's not like the cheapest of cheap plastic, but it's not a hard plastic. I kind of like to say it's like a mid plastic, like a middle level plastic if that exists. It's not the cheapest of the cheap, but it's not the best either. Um, I kind of feel like that could be improved or be a little bit better. Um, but yeah, the ear cups are fine. They're soft. Um, they're, they're not uncomfortable. Uh, after like three, four, five hours, if you sweat a lot, they, I mean, you could get a little sweaty around your ears maybe, depending. Because I, I tend to get a little warm there. But um, that's kind of how that is. There is... Um, buttons there's like three buttons on the right ear cup that are can i just say i kind of don't like having buttons on the back of the ear cup right it just feels really weird to like click the buttons it feels unnatural i kind of wish they were just on the side of the ear cup but that's kind of just me um one and then on the left ear cup 
there is um, two two buttons. One button to hold down, like is the power button to hold it down and turn on the headphones. And then the next is the um, noise canceling button to switch through the modes. And there are like three different modes. It's actually kind of neat. And there's a lot to these headphones, which is also why I like them a lot. Um, so, you know, of course it's USB-C for charging. And then you also do have a headphone um, jack if on the headphones themselves if you want to do that and it does come with a case it comes with, with a nice case um so another thing with these headphones i know i'm all over the place um i apologize but um the uh buttons i actually one thing i like about these is that on the right side the three buttons that are there are the up and down volume buttons and then below that is the play button that is something you're gonna have to get used to most play buttons are in between a volume up and down button but um but yeah and the cool thing is if you noticed what i said was that the power button to turn on and off your headphones and the play button are separate buttons i hate having the power button and the play button be the same button because if let's say your play and pause go out then that means your your power button goes out too so this way even if like the play and pause button goes out i can still turn on the headphones and use them um the controls are as like it has all the controls you could need you know up and down volume uh you know play pause if you hold down the um up button you'll go to your next track and then down hold the down volume down button and you go to the previous track all that you can you know activate your voice assistant and all that so yeah those are some things there there's a lot here to cover about these headphones um so next we will get to the uh battery life this is the most best most best oh god uh, but it's the best thing about the soundcore life q30 headphones and the battery life is 60 hours of battery life without using noise canceling if you use the noise canceling i believe it's like 40 hours um that is amazing that's an amazing amount of battery and every time you turn on the headphones it'll be say you know battery high battery like like middle or medium and so uh the, the battery life has been amazing on these headphones as i say i can't stress that enough even if you do have the noise canceling on you'll be fine also i think they say if you like just charge that it has quick charging so if you do like kill them um you can uh charge them for like five to ten minutes and get four hours of battery uh which is great so battery will not be an issue with these headphones at all and i i love it it's great <laughs> and uh so then we'll get into the noise canceling itself so it actually has like in the app it, it has an app to where you can actually get firmware updates and stuff for the headphones as well as um mess with eq settings and it, it has a it has three different noise canceling modes you can mess with on the app um one's like indoor one's outdoor and one's like transportation and so they have different levels there you you can't act like mess with them unless you get go into the app otherwise it's just gonna be like normal noise canceling I think I, I don't know what the default mode is I don't remember but um but there's that then there's a transparency mode which is actually really neat you can either hit the button the noise canceling button to switch between normal mode noise canceling and transparency or you can put your hand on your right ear cup like put your hand on the right ear cup and it'll um go to the transparency mode and what this is is um it will basically turn on your microphones in your headphones so that way you can kind of still he so you can talk to someone if you instead of like taking an ear cup off or whatever you can just put your hand over it over the ear cup instead and um that will activate transparency mode turn your mics on so you'll be able to hear the person like your music will still be going or whatever you're listening to but you'll be able to at least talk to them and hear them a little bit better so that's really cool now for the app the sound um life app it works with different headphones um and it works with this one and uh i like their like the eq presets on it i typically like using the piano one um this is basically sound right so the base like the, the default equalizing settings on these headphones are okay but i feel like the bass is too much 
Like, if you love bass, you'll really like this, but I feel like it drown, it, like, just, it's too much, right? I think it's just too much bass, and so I like it. Either the other, like, the highs and stuff pushed up, like, in the piano um, equalizing preset. I really like that one because the, the, the low end is still really good. The bass is really good, and then, then it brings up the high, so the bass isn't overwhelming it. Um... I mean, for some songs, like really bass heavy songs or stuff like that, it can still be really good. Um, but if you want to, but you're going to have to use the equalizer. If you want to listen to anything soft, like that bass is going to need, you're going to need to like get a different <laughs> equalizing preset or make your own, which is something you can do and um, to get it down because it's just too much, um, in my opinion, for slow or softer stuff, but, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully I covered everything, there's a lot to these headphones, if you were wondering whether you should get these, or the, I think they're like the Q35s, I think the Q35s are like 100, 120, I would save your money, and just get the Q30s, because I think they're great, um, I guess I didn't talk about comf com ah, comfort, I guess, I'll talk about that really quickly, um, it's fine. It's good. It's comfortable for me. Um, after about three or four hours of wearing, my ear, like I have a little bit of ear fatigue, but it doesn't like hurt or anything. It's not like super bad. So comfort is good for long lasting time. The Bluetooth's good. Um, it's, it sounds good. It's great. I really recommend these headphones. As I said, I've tried you know some other ones that weren't as good, and these ones, other than maybe the build quality being a little better, and the buttons are a little plasticky i guess but they're spaced out well enough you'll figure them out but other than that and maybe maybe just like some different settings for the uh, bass sound so you don't even have to mess with it i don't know but overall i don't really have too many complaints but if i like buy them the soundcore life q30 bluetooth headphones they're great um I uh, can't say enough about them. Like I said, definitely get them at eighty dollars. But if you can get them for the sixty dollars that I did, definitely do it. You won't. I don't think you'll regret it. But yep, that's been my review. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for listening. I will see you in the next video.